And so I said to her, mom, that's not our mailman. That's our dog. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> that was terrible. And so I said to her, mom, that's not our mailman. That's our dog. <laughs> it's good. Hey y'all, I'm Berna from Choices Magazine. Is it just me or do funny people have like a glow? Who, me? <laughs> now, that's not entirely wrong. According to doctors at the Mayo Clinic, laughter is scientifically proven to make you happier and healthier. Being funny can also make the hard parts of life a lot easier. It can help you fix awkward situations, give great presentations, and even meet new friends. Guys, stop it. <laughs> now go ahead. No, it may feel like people are born funny, but here's a little secret. They're not. Being funny is a skill that you can practice and get better at. Ready for some new techniques? Let's get these lols, y'all. Oh, you see what I did there? Oh. Number one, be funny when giving a presentation. Let's say you've been tasked with giving a science presentation at school and you're worried everyone's gonna fall asleep. Your winning move here, storytelling. The experiment was about SPF in sunblock. One patch of epidermis was protected with SPF 50. One patch was unprotected. The unprotected epidermis was damaged by the sun. The end. Yeah. All facts, no fun. Ooh, time out. Try again, but give us something to relate to. Spin the info into a story. So I was brainstorming for this experiment, right? And I was like, there's so many um, But anyway, I was watching Netflix at the time. And then this, oh my God, how did he get so tan? I was just like, anyway, the sun is hot, sunblock is dope, and you should definitely use it. Questions? Oh, uh, fun, no facts. Okay, it's great to use your personality in storytelling, but your story has got to have a point. The best stories are brief with a mix of personal info and facts. One more try. So I wanted to test out the effectiveness of SPF 50 as sun protection. So I put SPF 50 sunblock on one side of my body, no sunblock on the other, and that's how I learned the hard way that SPF really truly works. <laughs> Touchdown! Nice! Making your presentation informative and relatable will keep your audience engaged. If you're struggling to find the funny in a less than thrilling presentation, think about a moment that made you laugh when you were doing your work or your research, and then retell that story in a way that connects to the topic. Number two, be funny when things get weird. Let's say you're in a perfectly quiet library when suddenly, Oh my God, did she just, I know, think she just, that was, no, that was definitely her. Okay. She just forwarded. No. What's your go-to move here? Sarcasm. Sarcasm is confidently stating the opposite of what's going on in an obviously jokey way. See, people definitely heard your little good girl announcement. So how can we use sarcasm to get people to laugh with you and not at you? Oh sure, like you all never ever fart, okay? Like Sophia didn't fart in chem last week and like Amir didn't pee his pants in fourth grade on the bus. We remember, <laughs> too far. Oh, see, you don't wanna use sarcasm to be insensitive. Attacking people is never funny. Let's try again. You know, I've actually never farted in my life. Yeah, I'm like the Willy Wonka factory. Stuff goes in, nothing comes out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Is good. Ugh, perfect. You just relieved a bunch of tension. And you get bonus points for flipping the joke onto yourself instead of attacking others. Now the next time you find yourself embarrassed, use sarcasm to take control of the moment before anyone else. Crisis averted. Number three, be funny when making friends. Now, if you're anything like me, that sucks for you. <laughs> You're being mean to yourself. Eh, kind of. It's actually one of my favorite friend making funny moves. It's called self-deprecation, and it basically means making fun of yourself out loud. Oh, my bad. Self-deprecating humor is like telling folks, I don't judge myself too much, so I'm not gonna judge you either. Let's say you're the new kid on the soccer team and you're trying to make friends. Yeah, I played soccer before, but like, honestly, I'm horrible. Like, is this my foot? I don't even know. Like, is this my foot? Is this soccer? Like, I don't even know. You're making it weird. Self-deprecation is kind of like hot sauce. Stay with me. If you use too much, you're literally just beating yourself up and that's bad news for everybody. The trick is to use just a little, just enough, and then move on. <sighs> Replay? Yeah, I played soccer before. I can barely find North America on a map, but my foot can find a soccer ball. That's good. That was as smooth as a jazz musician's mustache. Mmm, nailed it. As long as you're not ripping yourself apart, being able to admit or even exaggerate your imperfections can help you relate to a new friend. And then of course, go right back to remembering how amazing you are, obviously. Boom, new friend. Let's review. That's my job. Sorry, 
Now, you can be funny anytime you want by using storytelling and personal connection to keep folks engaged, using sarcasm during awkward moments to help find funniness in the truth, and using a little self-deprecation to help put new friends at ease. But wait, there's one last super important thing that every funny person knows how to do, and that's laugh. Not only is laughing fun, obviously, but it makes you and the people around you laugh and have a really good time too. Ha, 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 ha. The more you pay attention to the things that make you laugh, like watching stand-up shows, comedy, movies, TV, even scrolling through memes, the more you'll understand and strengthen your sense of humor. Ha, ha. And hey, if all else fails, <laughs> you'll think of something. I'm Berna with Choices Magazine. See y'all next time. <laughs> how you put the sunblock in the bottle and it just gets really tan. It make the hard parts of life a lot, it make the hard parts of life. <laughs> Ooh. If a presentation is all fun, all facts, if a presentation is all fun, great. <laughs>